Hey guys, I'm Sebastian, this is Don. Hello. We are gonna cover a case presentation today. It's on knee pain with squatting. Um, and so the knee pain we're talking about in question here was knee pain kind of right around here. I'll pop up to the camera here. We're gonna cover some exercises today which work for this person. Uh, this knee pain that was about a week old. They couldn't bend the knee completely and they couldn't squat. Um, do you have any questions for me? <laughs> this is this was my client, so I guess. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what other things did he have going on in the knee? Has he ever had past injuries? Anything like he, that that they should He know actually did have clicking and popping recently. He started to run recently. Um, and so uh, there was an incident where he had some uh, pain in the quad while squatting. And so that was kind of the onset of the problem. Uh, we had discussed a little bit too about what it could be physically inside the knee. Uh, a lot of times people, their mind races to things like cartilage or meniscus or ACL or quad strain or whatever. Um, and um, in this scenario, we're looking at something more of like a uh, uh, internal derangement or like a cartilage issue. Um, we didn't necessarily go over the, the specific topic of what type of cartilage issue because quite honestly, it doesn't always matter. Um, it just matters to figure out if they're a surgical case or not. In this case, not a surgical case. He's a rehab case and we'll show you what we did today. Cool. Okay, so first thing we did was go ahead and just place your knee just like this. And I'm gonna pan this down just so we can all see Don. Oh, there we go, right there. Was this his thing that worked for him, by the way? Yeah, this really worked well for him. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna say if you guys are gonna try this at home and you have knee pain that sounds similar to this, pick something that you know bugs your knee pain. So if it's the squatting or whatever, test it really quick and then try this and come back to it. Yeah, his his measurement tool was squatting. So he couldn't get more than like about here without feeling it kind of in the front area on the side. Okay. Um, obviously, if you do have knee pain, get checked out by a doctor. These videos aren't medical attention. But if you do want help from us, we are locally world famous in Costa Mesa and we do, we do virtuals too. So all we did was put your hand right there. And I wanted to uh, use the webbing of your hands just to push your knee backwards. It's important to note in this case that he did not have any sciatica and his knee did not have any pain with extension when we tested his range of motion. Keep in mind again, we did do a full thorough phys uh, evaluation of the knee first to figure out what was safe for him to do and not. And this was deemed safe and it actually felt good. We did about 30 of them and then he squatted. So what should they be feeling in this if they're trying it? You might feel a little stretchiness in the back Sometimes if the person's foot is up like that versus down, they might feel a little bit more hamstringy stuff. So just put the foot down and relax it. We're pushing basically this direction, not downward that way. Um, but it shouldn't really duplicate any pain whatsoever. It just feels a little stretchy. Cool. Is that what you feel? Yeah, just cool. in the back. All right. So he squatted. Uh, his pain reduced by about 50%. Nice. Okay. So the next thing we did was we took the approach of, we took the approach of trying to remove the triggering uh, movements to the knee. So in testing, rotation tended to bother him as well. And so a lot of knees like the meniscus don't like rotation, right? So um, in this case, we're kind of reducing pain, which is nice, but it doesn't always build capacity. It doesn't help out the situation long-term. It's just pain management. And so the easy thing to do with the knee is a lot of times is, so if we look at Don's hip and her ankle, or actually probably just her hip in this case, so if her knee kind of goes in and out, which a lot of times we see with knee conditions, you can also see your hip is moving too, okay? And so what we can choose to do possibly is decrease the amount of rotation at the knee by forcing the load or uh, get the hip to work a little bit better to accept rotation. We did a video way back where we did um, one where we did this exercise, which we'll do it again, um, which we do for knee pain, and we did it in this case too, and it worked really well. He had zero knee pain after we were done with this. It took about two minutes. Go ahead and line your side. All right, so last time you made me do this, so I was watching the video and I was just struggling. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> so um, scooch back just a tad. So we're doing it on the bench here just because of camera angles and so on. And so all I want Dawn to really do is just break my hand with her knee. Notice as she breaks my hand, her foot raises. I don't want her to do anything else. This is the single focus, which is breaking the hand. Perfect. Stay right there and relax. What do you feel working? The core and like a little bit of my outer hip. Outer hip? That hip? Yep. Perfect. Good, go ahead and crush my hand again. We're gonna advance this since she felt the right things. 
go ahead and reach that arm that way just a tad and come on back. What do you feel now? Honestly, front of the hip, a little pinchy. Front of the hip, so we're going to change this just a little bit. So go ahead and push me down a little bit here. Don't use the hand. Can you imagine this is a headlight? Can you shine the headlight down to the floor over there? Pause. Outer hip. Outer hip. So as long as she has outer hip, we can continue. Good. Keep that. I'm a little uh, spider. I'm going to go underneath you here. Can you give me some room? Pause give me some room. Yeah. Pause there. Stay. What do you feel? A lot more outer hip. Outer hip again. Okay, hold me. Let me win real slow. Outer hip? Yep. Good. And so, just because Don made me do this last time, we're going to make her do it <laughs> a little bit now. Go ahead and break my finger. Flashlight. Spider. Stay. She's already suffering. <laughs> Hold me. Breathe. Breathe. Let me win real slow. Good. And down. I think last time she made me do it three times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, let's go here again. Finger. Flashlight. Spider. Stay. Good. Hold me. Beat me. Beat me. Beat me. Slowly let me win. Great. Go ahead and, uh, and go ahead and take a seat. Whew. So all, all we had her do, uh, Adam do after that was just squat and test. He's like, oh, this just feels great. And so all we did was those three th two things. Fun case. Question. Hmm. What if I don't have someone at home to push on him? Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. And so you can go ahead and lay in that position. Um, this is just what I have on hand. Um, earlier, actually with him, we used a piece of paper. We had a piece of mail that was junk mail. And so uh, a lot of times if you just kind of give the impression that there's something valuable underneath here, um, at any point, if I take this, this is, this is your bank account. Every, every penny in your bank account, I'm gonna take Don. So don't let me take it. Good, give me that spider movement. There you go, stay right there. I'm gonna pull it real hard and I want your money. I want your money, good. <laughs> Give, uh, go ahead and slow on the way down. Don't let me take the money. So basically this forms, she's forming more tension right here. And when she forms the tension, she's getting more load in the hip, right? So that was probably equally as hard. Is that right? Super hard. Yeah. Yep. So uh, that's the exercise we use. And the case I think is gonna go really well. Um, so if you guys have similar types of knee pain, if you want us to help, we certainly can. We can do this in person or virtual. We're in Coast Mesa, California. Uh, but we see this virtual all the time, and as you see with some of these videos, it's like they don't, we just have to show you what to do, really, and then things can actually really rapidly improve. What do you think? <laughs> I, think I think I need to even out my glutes a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, yeah, so anyways, if uh, you guys want to try that at home and see if it works out for you, great. If uh, maybe you had more questions, you want to see if there's something different you can do for your knee pain, we can help you virtually. Reach out, contact us. We'd love to help. Cool. See you next time.